Welcome back. The growing divide between the world's rich and the poor is among one of the biggest dangers over the next decade, according to the World Economic Forum's latest Global Risk Report. That report is an opening statement to the World Economic Forum, which begins next week in Davos. Richard Bestick has more from London. Street violence like this will become more frequent, according to the World Economic Forum, the WEF, unless politicians and business leaders tackle rising wealth inequality and youth unemployment. I don't think that we're at the end of the road in terms of social unrest. We are seeing it in many countries around the world. The last year has seen it in many of the large emerging markets such as Brazil, South Africa, but also in Europe, in Spain. Uh, you're starting to see it in some of the more advanced uh, European economies. The WEF spoke to 700 experts from around the world to compile its report. It discovered an army of young people, 300 million strong, without work. The huge risk is that we create, as we speak, a whole generation, it's called the lost generation, that really doesn't see any future. The consequences for social and economic stability could be huge and devastating. So even with a more benign economic outlook for 2014, throwing ahead to Davos and the World Economic Forum, it's apparent that youth unemployment and the disruptive social consequences that arise from it will be high on the agenda. However, according to the report authors, finding a solution will require more cooperation between governments still shrugging off the pressures of the financial crash. The focus of uh, political leaders is being pushed to short-term domestic things. And we need to widen the focus and get more into the global uh, multilateral sphere. The report authors also cite local governance failure as a global risk without naming an obvious one, the humanitarian tragedy in Syria. Currently the focus of high-level meetings between many of the foreign ministers who will be attending the Davos Forum. Richard Bestick, CCTV, London.